Hello, welcome to the instructional video on how to understand your financial aid estimate. This video will go through, step by step, the financial aid estimate you were sent via email from our financial aid department. First, please pull up your estimate to follow along with the video. The first part lists your name, program, course load, and transfer credits. Your course load can either be half time, three quarters time, or full time. Here is how that breaks down for bachelor level students. A half-time student at the university must take two courses in a semester, typically one course at a time. More on semesters later. A three-quarters time student will take three courses in a semester, typically overlapping. And a full-time student will take four courses in a semester, typically two courses at a time. If this estimate doesn't look right as to what you discuss with your admissions advisor, please let financial aid know so we can make corrections. Your start date is when we are expecting you to start courses at the university. A financial aid academic year, shown here, takes place over the course of two semesters. Each semester at the university is four months long, or the length of two courses taken back to back. Here are the dates for each semester. Financial aid will be dispersed once per semester, and will be about half of the total amount you requested. This estimate breaks down the cost of each semester so that you know how much to request to cover your direct costs at the university, which are tuition, fees, books, and loan fees. Your tuition listed here is shown as a cost per credit hour. Each course at the university is three credits. This will give us the total tuition for your semester shown here. In this example, the student is requesting nine credit hours or three courses per semester. Fees include the new student fee as well as any resource fees. These fees apply to all students and are included in your financial aid packaging. The new student fee will need to be paid by the student if applicable and financial aid will come in and reimburse you for this fee. Loan fees are approximately 1% of your loan and are shown here. These are charged for all Stafford Loan students. Books are paid for by the student up front. Financial aid will then come in and reimburse you for this expense if you elect to do so. Your academic advisor can instruct you on where to purchase your books. These charges give us a total for your direct costs at the university as listed here. Because we are packaging you for two semesters, we've added them both up and shown you the total aid that you need right here. In the awards section is where financial aid lists what you need in loans, grants, discounts, if applicable, that you will be needed to cover your expenses. If you qualified for the Pell Grant, it will be listed here. If you qualified for subsidized Stafford loans, they would be listed here as well. Subsidized Stafford loans do not accumulate interest while you're in school. For unsubsidized Stafford loans, they do accumulate interest while you're in school. As long as you haven't borrowed above your aggregate limit for loans, everyone qualifies for unsubsidized Stafford loans. The aggregate loan limit for bachelor students is $57,500. If you are close to reaching this mark, we will list it in the notes section so you are aware. Once you hit this limit, we can no longer borrow Stafford loans for you. This notes section will also list anything additional we need from you in order to request loans on your behalf. Please reach out to us with the information we require here, or if you have any questions, you can reach us at financial.aid at americansentinel.edu or call in the main line and ask for financial aid. Next, one of our financial aid representatives will reach out to you via email with instructions to complete our financial aid site. This can take up to 30 to 45 minutes. You will also need to fill out a master promissory note. Please finish these steps in order to receive aid. Please keep this estimate somewhere you can easily access because you will need to refer back to this document when filling out the American Sentinel Financial Aid website, which must be completed every two semesters. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any additional questions, please reach us at financial.aid at americansentinel.edu or call 800-729-2427 and ask for financial aid.